Hi guys, this is a explanation to how to fit the HF Sports body kit. Uh, we, this is an E36, which is uh, basically a practice car that we are using to experiment on. So this is a fresh HF Sports saloon kit that we've just uh, made. Um, the front lid has been fitted uh, with tolling seal. Now a lot of people fit the front lip a lot um, really bad and really wrong. Um, you're not supposed to go up to this line, it sits about 10 mil under this line, as you can see here. And then it gives you the chance to fit it in the middle and down the side. Now under here, this has actually been tiger sealed as well as riveted. So it's up to you if you want to do that and then take the rivets back out and then have it smoothed over to have it painted. Now, on the side skirt, uh, again, I uh, get a lot of questions to how people fit the side skirts. I usually fit one here, um, I fit a rivet here and a rivet in the end, and two in the top of the sill, two under the sill because it's the same height as the sill, and then one in the very end as well. Okay, now another problem we see is when we see a lot of photos of the cars is um, that a lot of people fit the rear bumper lip wrong. So this is a bit of an explanation of how we do it. The actual bumper lip, uh, we've actually trimmed this bit down because it comes up to about there and goes down to an angle. Now there's a line on the bumper behind here. A lot of people would try and follow the line. It's not actually built to follow the line. It's built to fit, to fit nicely. The, on this car, the bottom of the side skirt and the bottom of the bumper is measured from 70 mil to the floor and 70 mil to the floor there. So basically, when the car is completely flat and there's lost, we've lost E36 rake, we've gained that full Japanese style look all the way around. Now this is all riveted on. This is riveted on with six rivets. Underneath here is like a swirly pattern of tiger seal. Again, we just use rivets to hold it on whilst we can to make sure it sticks to the car. Right, another, another one we get asked is how do we fit the spoiler? Now the spoiler, it has a recess in the E36 on the coupe and on the saloon. And what we've done is we've made it to fit into that recess. Now here we've used um, a silicon called Tiger Seal. Again, we fill it, I've filled it into there, got two five litre empty water containers and filled them right up. And then that, leave that to go, on, go off overnight and then your spoiler will never come off again. Also, there's a, we haven't done it on this car because it's maybe a possibility. There's a recess here for a, an exhaust. Um, the idea of the small recess was to have like a three inch exhaust so it looks nicer. Um, a few people fit twins, that's fine. Um, and we are, in the future, we are gonna alter this to make it a little bit bigger so everybody's gonna have more comfortable having fit twins. And also, this is version one body kit. We're actually gonna do a complete bumper in the future and progress onto version two. So yeah, you'll see some photos of this later and uh, also some diagrams and pointers. Thank you.